It suspends disbelief. People that walk on the field feel like they're 12 years old again. We made this one quarter scale replica of Bush Stadium. So if you're 400 feet in center field, you're about 94 feet in center field. If the wind's blowing out, you're gonna have a lot of home runs. If the wind's blowing in, you're gonna have very little home runs. And so that's always a tough one. You gotta play the wind a little bit. Princeton is a small community. There's about 6,000 in the town, about 13,000 in the county. We're about two, two and a half hours from Bush Stadium. And uh, this is the closest major league team. And there's a lot of Cardinal fans that live here, a lot of Cardinal history. And, and uh, everyone wants to talk about the St. Louis Cardinals. When somebody walks onto this field, for a minute, they feel like they're playing on a major league field. And no matter what your age, it doesn't matter if you're six years old. Or we've had people that are in their 70s uh, that have played in this tournament, and they still get that same excitement. We've added a few things as we've gone along. We put the deck in left field and the deck in right field. The scoreboard, the iron was out of my dad's welding shop. I went up and welded up that arch and my kids cut those cardinals out of wood. So it's been a family affair in terms of building it. My kids have participated, my friends have participated. We can step back and look at it with a little bit of pride that we've accomplished something. My wife said, you're crazy, and then she loved it. <laughs> kind of like Kevin Costner in Field of Dreams. My wife and I purchased this property in 2010, and we have a little over four acres here, and so we thought it'd be something nice to do. I've always wanted to have a wiffle ball field. When I was a kid, I'd put plywood up in my house and I would play, and so we built this field and we decided that we wanted to do something to give back to our community. We figured we had some land, and so why not use it for a good cause? The tournament is a great way to raise money for the Jay Codge Foundation that provides scholarships to high school graduates. I can't think of a better way to honor someone's memory and do something great for the community at the same time. We wanted something that we can give kids an opportunity to pay it forward, give adults from different communities an opportunity to uh, come together in a different type of atmosphere as opposed to competitive athletics that we see in high school sports. And we've been able to give out well over $100,000 in scholarship money since 2009. Little Bush Stadium has really built and nurtured friendships between people of the different counties and communities. I've known the Hodge family for over 20 plus years. Seeing how Dennis and Shannon reacted to their son's death inspired us to do something for their organization. And so we built this field and we decided to use it as a vehicle to raise money for the foundation. It was a great way for us to honor Jake's legacy and also support Shannon and Dennis in their cause. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to Little Bush Stadium, Princeton, Kentucky. The tournament itself, we have 24 teams coming. Friday night, there'll be four to 500 people out here. Saturday night will be close to the same. It's about a 60 to 70 mile radius of teams coming. We have concessions, pork chop sandwiches. We have snow cone machines here. There'll be canopies set up. We have umpires. I have eight guys in an umpiring pool. We have guys that operate the scoreboard. It's a manual scoreboard with ball and strike lights that light up. We have a guy to operate the video board. We have scorekeepers that keep score. We keep stats for the tournament. We keep career stats. Each team will have between 10 and 15 players. Only nine can play the field, but everybody can bat. I try to match the divisions up where it's equal talent. And so the winner of each division goes to the playoffs on Sunday, and we'll crown a champion based on the playoffs. In this tournament, there's varying skill levels. There's divisions that are highly competitive, and that's what we try to do. And there's divisions that uh, the players aren't as skilled. We've got games involving women's teams. We have guys that play college baseball, guys that play minor league baseball. The thing that you got to remember when you're playing wiffle ball is it's a great equalizer. Last year, the Fredonia boys, out of Fredonia, of course, uh, were taking on a 12-year-old travel team, and uh, it was a great ball game. They beat a team that had college baseball players on it. And so it was amazing. The crowd was really rooting for them to win the championship, but they lost one nothing. Baseball, you can kind of cheat if you don't hit a ball as clean you can almost get away with it. Wiffle ball, if you don't hit the ball clean, you're just gonna pop it up and it's an out every time. Pitching, 
for this version of wiffle ball here, your speed is controlled, so you try to get them with movement and deception. If you leave a ball out over the middle, it's going to get hit pretty well. I got a few different pitches. My main one's a riser. Where you kind of throw it like sidearm and it rises up. Then you have like a slider that goes from side to side, a little bit of a knuckleball. You see a lot of curveballs because it's the easiest pitch to throw. You just line the holes up and just kind of throw it. Um, and just kind of let the ball do the work. Well, wiffle ball is a game that was invented and patented in the 1950s. It's basically a plastic ball and a plastic bat, and it was made for kids that didn't have enough room to play baseball. You just have to have a bat and a ball and just kind of even put a shoe out there as a base or something like that or as a fence and just kind of get out there and just, and just play. All of us went into our backyard and somehow, some way, we designed a, a little field of dreams. You know, it doesn't matter if it was where your mom hung the laundry, that that's the home run, and you know, three strikes, you're out, four fouls, you're out. Now we're big kids and we build toys that are uh, <laughs> a little more expensive and uh, a little prettier, but everybody still gets that same feeling of being kid again. The reason I chose wiffle ball is there's no better way to step back in time and feel like you're 12 years old and being on this field playing wiffle ball. And there's really no better way in my mind to honor the legacy of a 12-year-old child than a wiffle ball tournament. To see people's reaction when they first walk on the field, it just puts a smile on their face. And that puts a smile on my face. If you build it, they will come. And we've grown every year. This year we have 24 teams in the tournament. We started out with eight. And people do come. They want something to enjoy. And they want to come out and support a good cause. And you know, that's the reason for me.